Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a barn. And this video does also include the inside of the barn and the outside of the barn as well. I'm going to be showing you how to make all of it in this one video. And also, if you have any more building related needs, I would highly recommend checking out the card system because in there I'll be leaving loads of videos and playlists that I think that you guys might really want to check out. I would highly recommend my real world buildings playlist because I'll have loads of stuff in there just like this. But moving on, if you want to make the barn, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some block of quartz and grab yourself some red stained clay you'll also need some cyan stained clay and you actually don't need that much more for the actual outside part of the barn then we're going to have to grab some uh, dark oak wood planks and we'll need some oak wood planks we'll also want to grab some dark oak wood fence and some dark oak wood gates we'll also need a lot of better glass not too much glass we'll need some black stained glass and what else will we need ladies and gentlemen you know what it doesn't matter we'll grab it as we need it so once you have each one of those materials right there and once you've figured out where you want to make it i'll be making it right here you're going to want to kick off your barn with a row of 11 a block of quartz coming directly up from the ground that's 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 you then want to take this 11th block and do an upright diagonal then go up by one then do an upright diagonal go up by one do two upright diagonals that is one and two then go right of that second upright diagonal by ten that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then do two bottom right diagonals, that'll be one and two. Then go down by one. Do a bottom right diagonal, go down by one, do a bottom right diagonal and go all the way down until you hit the ground, like that. But you don't just want to stop there. From that block that hits the ground, you want to go left of it by six, that's one, two, three, four, five and six. You then want to go up by six, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You then want to go right by 4, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you want to connect all the way back down to the bottom part of the barn, like this. What you then want to do is on top of these top two left-hand corner quartz blocks, we want to stack a cyan stained clay each. We then want to extend this left cyan stained clay to the left by 7, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And what we then want to do, on top of this row of cyan stained clay that we have right here, we want to stack a layer of block of quartz, except the block of quartz wants to be one block less either side than the cyan stained clay, like that. You then want to take the left hand side of your block of quartz and you want to raise it up by five that's one two three four five then extend it to the right by six that's one two three four five six and then connect it all the way back down to where you first started you also want to take the center block sir in these rows that we have above and below us and you want to connect them together so take that center block of your quartz and kind of just half it to make this shape what we now want to do is underneath these left hand cyan stained clays we want to place a quartz underneath each one of these we then want to take this right hand quartz and connect it all the way down to the ground then take this block that hit the ground and you want to go left of it by four that's one two three four we then want to go up by six that's one two three four five six go to the right and you also want to connect everything back to the start as well so in essence we want to have a shape which should look like this and this is pretty much most of the front of the barn although we are missing something which i wish we would have placed earlier take out the cyan stained clay and on top of this window that we have up top here we want to have a row of five cyan stained clay on top of the top of that window so on top of the five center blocks of those quartz blocks we want to stack five cyan stained clay like that very easy isn't it later on we'll be filling in the rest of this with red uh, with red stained clay and we'll be adding some like 3d parts we'll be extending out and what have you but for now that is the front of the barn now once you have the front of your barn taken care of it's now time to move on to the side so come to the very left hand side of your barn take out your block of quartz and going left of this very first quartz block that we play so towards the back of the bum we want to do a row of seven block of quartz that's one two three four five six seven we then want to go up by seven that's one two three four five six seven we then want to take these top two rows and we want to extend them going to the left by by six with your red stained clay so these top two rows 
to the left by six with your red stain clear. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we want the same just above it. We then want to do a row of block of quartz that not only connects to those two red stain clay, but they also hit the ground as well. We then want to take the block that hits the ground, the quartz block that hits the ground, and go left of it by seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can then go on top of this seventh block by ten. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want to have something which should look on the side of the barn a little bit like this. Now, we have a couple of things to add to the left side of the barn. So the easiest things to add are going to be the windows. So add a row, like on the left-hand side of the left-hand side of the barn, add a row of red stained clay right at the bottom. Then you want to do a row of four block of quartz on top of the red stained clay. That's one, two, three, four right in the center. Then you want to do two rows of two black stained glass on top of these two center quartz. So that's one, two. Then you want to do quartz going all the way around the outside. And that's the window. It's really, really easy, isn't it? Once you've got that window taken care of, you want to come to the opposite side of the bottom, this right-hand side here, and you want to do the same thing. So a letter of red stained clay right at the bottom center. Then four block of quartz. That's one, two, three, four. On top of the four center blocks of red stained clay. And then you want to do two rows of two Black stained glass, that's one, two, right in the center. And then block of quartz going all the way around that glass to give you your two windows. But that isn't everything. So once you've got that taken care of, we have doors to add. So can you see on the left-hand side of this empty space that we have here where we have this row of block of quartz? Well, starting from this corner block of quartz, we want to go up on top of this or in front of this, we want to erect a row of six block of quartz. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, just here. Then we want to go right by two. We then want to connect that block to the ground and then back to where it started, like this. You want to do this on the left, you want to do this on the right hand side. So on the right hand side, in front of this corner block, we want to go up by one, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to go left by three, or by two, I should say, and then connect down to the ground and then connect down there. And you can fill the center of these shapes in with red stained clay if you so like. So just fill the center of these shapes in with red stained clay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the barn doors on the side. So once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. We want to, coming all the way to the back part of the barn this time, we want to, as I said, come all the way down to the back. And starting from this block that we did 10 on top of, we want to take this block and we want to go left of it by 18. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then go up on top of this 18th block by 10. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We then want to do an upright diagonal. Go up by 1. Do an upright diagonal. Up by 1. Do two upright diagonals, that'll be one and two. We then want to go right by ten. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We then want to do two bottom right diagonals, that'll be one, and this will be two. And then we want to go down by one, do a bottom right diagonal. Come on, bottom right diagonal. And we want to go down by one. And that should connect you to that row of ten that we placed earlier coming up out of the back corner of the bottom. What we now want to do is this. So, we want to... Coming to the bottom left hand corner of the empty space of the barn, we want to place a red stained clay coming right here. We then want to place a block of quartz to the right of it. We then want to go up on top of that quartz block by one, two, three, four, five. By five, that's one, two, three, four, five. We then want to go all the way over to the right hand side of the barn. And leaving a gap of one from the right hand side of the barn, we want to then connect that quartz block all the way back down to the bottom of the barn. So, can you see here where we've placed this rectangular shape of quartz? Well, they, that, that's exactly what you want to have. What we now want to do is this. So, we want to. On the back of the barn, so inside of the rectangular shape that we've made, starting from the bottom left-hand corner here, we want to do two red stained clay coming in from the left-hand side. We then want to do a row of block of quartz in front of the bottom of the barn that comes all the way over to the right-hand side inside of your rectangular row until you have a gap of two on the right. So you want to have two red stained clay on the left, two red stained clay on the right. We then want to take this row of quartz block that we've got and we want to take the left block and the right block and we want to extend them up each by five. That's one, two, three, four five i meant six up by six and then we want to again with the other side one two three four five six then connect them together at the top and then we want to cut them up the middle like this so we want to form doors so we want to have this shape 
We can then fill the outer parts of these doors in with red stained clay, and we'll also want to fill the inner parts of that in with red stained clay and all sorts of stuff, but we'll be doing that later so it doesn't really matter. So we're just filling the inner parts of these doors in with red stained clay, and you know what, I'm going to fill the like uh, the little rectangular shape that we made in with red stained clay as well, just, uh, just so that everybody can see the doors and how they all fit together. So that's what you want to have. We have a little bit more to do. Take out the cyan stained clay. And on top of the original rectangle that we placed, so not the outward parts of the doors, we want to have a row of cyan stained clay that is as long as the doors that are poking out of the back of the barn like that. We then want to do a row of block of quartz on top of the cyan stained clay that is one row shorter on, that is one block shorter on each end like that with the block of quartz. We then want to take this left hand block of quartz and go up on top of it by six. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We don't want to go up by six, we want to go up by five. It wants to be in total six. So we want to do one, two, three, four, five, leaving a gap of two from the top. And then we want to do the same to the other side. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then connect those fifth blocks together, cut them up the middle, and later on we'll fill this in with red ball. On top of this row of quartz that we have at the top here, we want to stack a row of five cyan stained clay on top of that window, and that row of five cyan stained clay wants to just sit in the middle of the top of that window like that. Very, very easy, isn't it? Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. You want to come all the way over to the opposite side of the barn, the empty side of the barn, as I'm calling it, and you want to connect the bottom two corners of the barn together, so connect the bottom two corners of the barn together front to back, as I'm doing now and then starting from the left hand side of the barn here going from left to right you want to do the sequence of blocks you want to do six red stain clay that's one two three four five six one quartz six clay one two three four five six one quartz six clay one two three four five six should connect you to the back part of the barn we then on top of the four center blocks of each one of those rows of red we want to do four quartz so that's four quartz on top of each one of those sections of red stained clay we then want to do our two by two layers of glass on top of each one of those um, rows of quartz so we just want to do our glass all the way uh, we want to do our two rows of two glass on top of those two center blocks and then we want to do quartz going all the way around the outside of those and if you like you can also go up on top of these can you see these quartz that we have intersecting the windows well we just want to raise these up until they are two rows higher than the windows so you would want to add one two three four five six on top of each one of those and you'll see that that matches the rows of quartz that we have on the opposite side now once you've got that taken care of this is what we're going to do next so come all the way to the front of the barn what we want to do is this so on the front of the barn and you know what we actually have to do this on the back of the barn as well so on the front of the barn can you see where we have these two rectangular shapes in the front of the barn well you want to fill these rectangular shapes in with red stained clay so fill these in with red stained clay just gonna do that very quickly and that doesn't only apply to the bottom ones, this also applies to this kind of like these two mini rectangles that we have up here, which is a window. Fill those all in with red stained clay and then extend those rectangles coming out in front of the build by one row. So we want to have um, these rectangular shapes coming out in front of the build by one row. It's quite easy, isn't it? So just extend them coming out by one row. And this applies to the top as well. And this is what I meant on the back. We should have done this for the upper part as well. We meant to do this on the back, but we didn't. Fill the outer parts of those shapes in with red stained clay. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just filling these parts in with red stained clay. It'll take a second or two. Just got this right hand door to fill in now. This is looking pretty good. So that is both of those bottom doors in. That's the top door or the windows. And we're now going to come to the very back part of this build. And this time we're going to fill in just the top window because of course we already have the door extending out in front of the build. So um, we're just with our block of quartz going to extend this door out by one row and blah, 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 blah. Extend that out by one row, and then we're going to be adding red stained clay all the way inside of these two windows. So we'll just add all of these in. Perfect. So once you've got that taken care of on the back, you've got it taken care of on the front. The next order of business for us is going to be doing the roof. The roof is quite simple. So come all the way to the front. 
like mid side of the barn. So come up to the front and come up like m about halfway up. So what we're looking for is, can you see where we have this long row of quartz? Starting from the top, we want to find the third block coming down. So this is the first block, second, third. We want to do an outward diagonal with the quartz coming out in front of the barn. Once you've got that single quartz block placed, we want to go up by two. That's one, two. We then want to do an upright diagonal, up by one, upright diagonal, up by one, then three upright diagonals. That's one, two, three. And can you see what we're doing now? We are tracing along the outside of the barn. So we're actually tracing along the outside of the roof. We're doing it. We're one row in front and we're one row away. And we're going to be placing a block of quartz all the way around the outside of the top of the barn. And we're coming we're coming down by three, remember, with the quartz on either side. Um, we're then doing that on the back. So we're coming to the back here and starting from this side, we're going to come and find the third block coming down in that top row. And then we're going to trace along the front and the back part of the barn. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're tracing along the outer parts of the barn. And we're also going to be connecting the front of the roof and the back of the roof together. Um, give me a second here. So we've now traced along the back part of the roof. And then the way that we're going to connect it together is we're just going to take the very first, the bottom blocks in those rows of three, and we're going to connect them front to back. So we're connecting the front of the roof to the back of the roof with those very ends of the roof. So the, oh, we don't want to do that. Um, we just want to connect the front of it to the back of it. You guys can see exactly how we've done that. It's not very complicated, is it? So we'll end up with a shape. This should look exactly like that. It's quite easy, isn't it? Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. And we're going to be doing a lot of this in a bulk. I'm not going to be doing this on recording. So that's pretty much the structure of the barn laid out. It's very, very easy. So what I'm now going to do, and you know what? We'll do another thing as well. We're going to fill every single one of the walls of the barn in with red stained clay. All of the remaining space in the barn is going to be filled in with red stained clay. This does not apply on the front where we have these doors, and this does not apply on the back where we have the doors as well, or the side, I should say, where we have the doors. Although we do want to fill the inside of the back in here. Can you see where we have the double doors? Um, as a matter of fact, you want to retain the uh, the quartz. You want to retain that in the wall, but you will not want to uh, do anything else. But we do want to... Um, just just fill this in with red stained clay. So we'll just want to kind of like smooth in the area of uh, the inside area of the barn. So we'll just smooth all of this out, which is which is fine. So we'll fill all of the doors in, and uh, we don't have to touch these doors on the inside on the left hand side, and we don't have to touch the doors on the front. So we'll be filling all of the walls in with red on all of these sides. We'll be filling the roof in. You guys know where the roof goes. It's basically just connecting each one of these front and back quartz blocks together with cyan stained clay. We're using cyan stained clay for the roof. It looks quite nice. So we're connecting the front part of the roof to the back part of the roof using cyan stained clay. That is connecting each one of those quartz blocks. But something else that I'm also doing, and this is going to... These are the dimensions for it. I'm going to knock out the floor of the barn, starting from the very outer edges of the barn, and we want to knock out the entire floor, and this also includes the, um, the outer edges for the side of the barn as well, not including the door, because the, do the door would, like, close, and it it's in line with the like, side of the barn, not the side of the doors. We want to knock out the entire floor of the barn and replace it with oak wood planks. That's what we're going to be using for the floor. So, we have three jobs to do. We have to fill in the roof with cyan stained clay. That'll take a while. We have to fill in each one of the sides with red stained clay. That'll take a while. And possibly one of the more time-consuming things that you've got to do, you've got to knock out the floor and replace it with oak wood planks. I'm going to be back in just a moment. Well, it'll be just a moment for you once I've done all of those things. So, I'll be back in just a second once I've accomplished all of those goals. Okay, so as you may or may not be able to tell, because we don't have all of the correct angles for this, I have completely filled in my barn, and it is looking very nice. The roof is completely filled in with cyan, the walls are completely filled in with red stained clay, and the inside is completely filled in with oak wood planks. Now, once you yourself have got that taken care of, and obviously pause this if necessary, if you're still working on any of that, of course, I imagine you will be, because it does take quite a long time to do. Once you've got that knocked out, we can now 
now move on to the next bit. So, the next bit is going to be taking care of the entire inside of the barn. So, come to the inside of the barn, and we'll take care of the left-hand side as well. This is split into three sections. Left-hand side, the right-hand side, and the second floor of the barn. So, inside the barn, we want to, where we have... Can you see where we have these doors? Well, we want to place oakwood planks, dark oakwood planks, I should say, in these two positions. So, next to the doors, next to the quartz. So, in these positions, we want to place rows of dark oakwood planks. And they want to come as high as the red stained clay is on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. On top of this, so like in this position for instance, is where all of the oakwood planks are going to go. Um, this is where the second floor of the uh, of the actual barn is going to be. So, once you place those two rows of dark oakwood planks, you want to, on the same wall, starting from the corner here, this inside corner, we want to do a row of dark oakwood planks that comes all the way up and it'll hit these oakwood planks here. We also, leaving a gap of four going right, so one, two, three, four, want to do another row of dark oak with planks, like this. We then want to take the bottoms of each one of those dark oak with planks, and we want to do rows of three oak with planks coming towards us. That's one, two, three. We then want to do a dark oak with plank, so that'll be like one, two, three, dark oak with plank coming towards us. We then want to extend those dark oak with planks all the way up to the top here, and they are going to stop in line with where all of the other dark oak wood planks are. We'll then want to connect these outer dark oak wood planks together, left to right, doing like a, an oak wood plank, an oak wood plank on either side, and then dark oak wood gates, fence gates in front. So this is like where one of the horses will be kept, or the cows, or the tarantulas, whatever you want to keep in there. So this is like where one of the animals are going to be. That's the front, and on the back it's the same thing. So we'll want to have like in the very back corner a row of dark oak wood planks that comes all the way up to the side here. Then we'll want to leave a gap of four that we want to three four, and we want to have another row of dark oak wood planks. We then want to take the bottom planks, and we want to do three oak wood planks coming towards us. One two three, and that is one two three. We then want to do rows of dark oak wood planks coming up from the ground like this. We then want to connect those outer oak wood planks together with an oak wood plank either side and dark oak wood fence gates um, in between them like this. And what we then want to do, um, we want to take out some ladders. We want ladders for this. And can you remember those two original rows of dark oak wood uh, planks that we placed? Well, we just want to place ladders. Um, coming all the way up now. We just want to place ladders um, just on those. So th that's how you actually get onto the second floor of this. And what we can also do, we'll be needing this later, but we'll grab it now. Um, we need some hay just to make uh, the little individual stores look a bit better. So that's the left-hand side of the barn. Let's take care of the right-hand side of the barn. So the right-hand side of the barn and left-hand side of the barn very similar. Except the right-hand side of the barn has three stalls for animals, whereas the left-hand side, of course, has two. So the way that we'll do this, in this front corner, we do a row of dark oak planks. We then leave a gap of one. One, two, three, and four dark oak wood planks. We then leave a gap of one coming left, row of dark oak wood planks. A gap of four, one, two, three, four dark oak wood planks. Then we leave a gap of one, then dark oak wood planks. Row of four, one, two, three, four dark oak wood planks. So this is the right hand side. You can see where all of the stores for the animals are going to go. It's quite logical. It's in line with the windows. Like it's the outer red stained clays of the windows. That's where the like pillars for the actual um, stables, the, uh, the part where the animals go. Anyway, we then want to take the bottom dark oak wood planks, extend them towards us each by three of the oak wood planks. That's one, two, three. This will be one, two, three. 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 We then want to do rows of dark oak wood planks in front of those third blocks, so coming all the way up to where the second floor is going to be, we want to have dark oak wood planks. Um, it shouldn't take too long, so we've got six of these to do in total. Only one left to do now. We've really been cracking on with these, and we can have, and we now have equal rows, just about equal rows of oak dark oak wood planks. There we go. That's perfect. So coming across, we then of course want to do our oak wood planks to uh, do parts of the doors of each one of the three um, parts where the animals kept and we want to do dark oak fence gates in between them like that so we just want to have um, a little place for all of the animals like that and if you want to light this up a little bit better you can you can place some torches all about the place i'm placing them in random positions because of course i already have um, i already have a barn so i'm not i'm not that bothered about the torches being in good places but you probably will be because this, this is your very first barn 
And I'm also going to be stacking a little, a, a little bit of uh, hay bales in each one of the six. Uh, I guess it's five, isn't it? Because there's only, um, there's only two on that side. I'm going to be stacking a little bit of hay in each one of the corners. And if you wanted to, you could stack um, some equipment. Like uh, if you wanted to put on the walls, you could put like um, item frames and and uh, like secateurs. They're not called secateurs, are they? They are, aren't they? They're called like secateurs. Oh, shears, whatever. Um, put some shears on the wall and you can put some like horse armor down. You could do all sorts of stuff. But I'm leaving it like this. I'm keeping it simple. Once you have each one of the little stable parts done, what we now want to do is this. So, we want to, on top of the outer dark oak wood plank blocks, we want to do rows of oak wood planks that connect the front of the barn to the back of the barn. So, we just want to connect the front of the barn to the back of the barn like this. Can you see where we have these two rows of dark oak wood planks? Of oak wood planks, I should say. Um, we also want to have gaps. So, later we're going to be filling these in with uh we're going to be filling the entire floor in with oak wood planks but of course remember to leave enough space for the ladders so you want to be able to get up from the ladders so we have the two separating rows of oak wood planks um what we also want to do can you see where the inner pillars of the uh of the two like little stores connect together can you see that and how we've kind of like made a square shape out of them? Well, we want to make the square shape and we want to do dark oak wood. Oh, there gates. We want to do dark oak wood fence all the way around the top of this. So we want to form kind of like, you want to be able to look down to the bottom part of the barn and you want to be able to look up to the upper part of the barn. So like this, you want to have a big square hole in the center of the second floor. We can then completely fill the rest of the second floor in with oak wood planks. And in doing that, that will be the entire inside of the barn. The rest of the barn is actually quite simple. So I'm going to completely fill in the floor with oak wood planks. It'll take a second or two, so I'm not going to do it on recording. I'll be back in a second once I've filled all of this in with oak wood planks. And here we have the floor, ladies and gentlemen. This is exactly what it should look like once it's been completely filled in with oak wood planks. That'll take a little bit. Pause this if you're still working on that. Once you've got that taken care of for yourself, we can now move on to the outer parts of the barn. So we have some really, really easy stuff left for you guys. So what we now want to do is come down to the front of the barn on the outside. And we want to take out some uh, spruce wood. We want to grab some oak wood fence. I've grabbed spruce wood fence by accident. Um, we'll want to grab some water, and we will also want to grab uh, something to till. We'll need a uh, diamond hoe, and we will also need uh, bone meal. We don't need bone meal. Why, why have I grabbed bone meal? We need wheat seeds. That's what we're after. We need seeds. Just seeds. Whatever. So, you're on the front of your bum. And in line with the doors, you want to leave a gap of one, and then you want to do a row of five spruce wood in front of the doors. So in front of them, leaving a gap of one, five spruce wood. We can then take each one of these ends of spruce wood, and we can extend them go towards us each by seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we just want to connect each end together. And we want to have these spruce wood facing upwards. We then want to have, oh, of course, we're going to need some dirt as well. Uh, we're going to want to place a row of dirt on the outer parts of the spruce wood, and we want to have water on the inner parts. We then want to diamond hoe the grass or the dirt, whatever. We then want to add some seeds on top of this, and we'll grow ourselves some wheat in front. Not only do we want to have this on the left-hand side, we want to have it on the right-hand side as well. So on the right-hand side, we want to one row in front of the door. We want to have a row of five spruce wood. Then extend them come towards us each by seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then connect each one of those seven blocks together. And we would just want to form a rectangular shape. We then want to place a dirt on the outer parts of the spruce wood. Then water bucket in the center. We then have to hoe the land, we have to till the land. Then we want to add seeds on top of this. And you can see that we now have two nice little crop growths. We can then grab ourselves some oak wood fence and starting from in front of the two corners of the barn, we want to just ro run rows of fence that kind of like stay one block away from the two, um, two little plots of uh, of seeds that we've got so two little plots of weeds we just want to ro um, we just want to run two rows of oak wood fence on either side of those and they just want to come in by one so we just want to have this formation that's the front of the barn quite easy 
On the left hand side of the bond, we want to take the two corners of the left hand side of the bond, we want to extend them outwards each by 10, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we want to take each one of the two corners, extend them out by 10, and then connect them together. So this is just going to be a way for the animals to get some exercise. This is like an exercise portion of the barn. That's where you'd lead them out. So that's the front of the barn, that's the side of the barn. It's all quite easy. And if you want to take this one step further, what you can do is you can, of course, add some, where am I looking? I'm looking for spawn eggs. So um, what do we have? With skeletons, creepers, we don't want any of those. Zombie pigmen, no, 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 no. Donkey, yeah, donkeys and horses and mushrooms maybe. We might even want some chickens, might want some cows, maybe some sheep, some pigs, um, mule maybe, and maybe even a villager. So um, what we can do here, we can just put some horses, some donkeys, we can have like a, a mushroom, we can have a couple of chickens on this outside part. If you're going to do this, you might want to, um, you might want to, of course, place some gates down just on the outer parts of this, place some gates down. And um, on the inside here, we can have like a, we can have it like a horse in here, and we can have like a mushroom in this one, and we can have like a cow in this one, and we can have like a, a sheep and we can have a pig and if you want to you can name each one of the individual animals you can have a nice little barn going we can have some animals on the outside as you guys can see and we can have uh, we can have a lot of stuff if, if you want you can even have some sheep you can have some cow I don't know why I said sheep so I know the plural for sheep of course is, is sheep so um, we can have some more chickens if you want you'd expect there to be more chickens than most things and you can have how did you gentlemen get out of there? How did you get out of the- Can they get out of there? I didn't know that they could do that. Okay, so what, what you've done is you've made a grave error. You've made a grave error, my friends. And we're going to have to one, two, one, two. I'm sorry, you had to be put down. That's that's really unfortunate. I didn't- I didn't have, Hey! Hey, how are you alive? Yeah, that's very good. Okay, so we had to put down the animals. That's a shame. It, it happened. But that's the barn 100% fully completed. And hopefully you guys like it. So that's the barn in its entirety. Let's have a look at this thing. Just just because. So let's let's turn on uh, walking. Oh, God. The sheep's made its way out. So you see a barn off in the distance. You walk in. You notice that there's some, wheat, there's some wheat crops on the left. There's some wheat crops on the right. They're being eaten by sheep. There's mushrooms roaming around the area. There's cows. And um, inside the barn, there's five individual little stables for each one of the animals that should probably use fence instead of gates to keep the animals in. Um, it's quite nice. You notice there's a second floor. You can walk all the way up onto the second floor if you want. You can climb these ladders and, oh wow, look at this. This is so fancy. And you note that there's also a little area on the outside part of the barn where you, there's all sorts of animals roaming around. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's, uh, that's that's pretty much the barn in its entirety. It's not very complicated to build. It doesn't take too long. By my count, it'll probably take you about 45 minutes. But I'll tell you what, it's an excellent looking barn. It looks really, really cool. And I think it's quite realistic looking as well. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a like, a favor, a share on this video. I'd honestly really appreciate it knowing I put a lot of work into this barn, whether it looks like it or not, I honestly have. Please give it a like, give it a favorite, give it a share, anything you feel like doing, tell me. I'll comment down below. What else do you want me to make next? you want me to make some more real world building stuff like this let me know very interesting subscribe if you haven't already not only do we make things like barns around here not only do we do mushroom houses castles baby steve riding in baby pig shulkers there's a bed over there's a command block there's all sorts of stuff in the background that you can't even see not only do we do barns we do all sorts of stuff like this as well so subscribe if you haven't already check out the card system for more stuff like this not only will i be leaving loads of videos in there i'll be leaving loads of playlists check out my real world building playlist if you like that will be where a lot of good stuff is thank you very much for watching life every show if you want my comment down below check out the card system Sub, 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 subscribe if you haven't already we oh scratch the record there subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video